Hello, student. Welcome to today's lesson. This is biology lesson for grade 12. Student, in our last lesson, we have seen respiration, some stages of respiration, glycolysis, and then link reaction. And in this lesson, we are going to see Krebs cycle and I guess in the product, and again oxidative level phosphorylation. At the end of this lesson, student, we will be able to determine in the product of Krebs cycle after its regeneration. And they again explain the role of chemiosmosis and the oxygen in inner membrane space of mitochondria. Student, what do you think may be happen in Krebs cycle? Well done. In Krebs cycle, there are so many reactions takes place. It is one type of aerobic process that takes place in mitochondria. The reaction is takes place in mitochondrial fluid matrix. And again, it is aerobic one. Here, in Krebs cycle, acetyl CoA, which came from that of link reaction, as a linking between that of glycolysis and that of Krebs cycle, react with four carbon compounds, oxaloacetate, to form six carbon compounds called citrates. Here, there is a binding of acetyl coil with that of oxaloacetate to form six carbon compound citrates. Here, there is an enzyme that can catalyze the process. Acetyl CoA from that of link reaction plus that of oxaloacetate, which is involved in formation of citrates. And then after, citrate become decarboxylated to form five carbon compound and the carbon dioxide here. Where five carbon compound is further decarboxylated to form another compounds, which you call four carbon compounds oxaloacetate. And ATP is formed in the process by substrate level phosphorylation. Now, the way of ATP formation in the process is by substrate level phosphorylation. Simply, substrates having attached phosphate can transfer their third phosphate to that of ADP for carrying out the means of phosphorylation. Then, after, the four carbon compound is oxalostate become regenerate the original four carbon compounds and react with that of another acetyl coa to start the process then after the following product can be obtained after regeneration here there is six reduced nad produced after regeneration from krebs cycle and again four carbon dioxide become decarboxylated to. And again, there is two ATP molecules produced by substrate level phosphorylation. Additionally, two reduced FAD become produced here again. This is what the step of Krebs cycle looks like. Here, two carbon compounds acetyl coy from that of link reaction react with that of four carbon compound in fluid matrix of mitochondria. Krebs cycle, then form six carbon compounds called citrate. Then one carbon dioxide become decarboxylated. And with production of one reduced NAD. And again, there is five carbon compounds produced. There is decarboxylation step here again. And again, there is production of NAD become takes place here again. There is phosphorylation takes place here again. Then five carbon compounds become further decarboxylated into that of four carbon compounds, which produce FAD. And again, further decarboxylation of this one, when this become regenerate itself to that of where this one become react with that of the original acetyl coa to regenerate the process again. Within two cycles, 
there is a production of these two products in Krebs cycle. So generally, in Krebs cycle, we end up with this six reduced nut. We end up with that of the carboxylation of four carbon dioxide. And again, we end up with the production of two ATP, net ATP again. And again, with generation of two reduced fat again. The another most important step of aerobic respiration is oxidative level phosphorylation. Where this oxidative level phosphorylation include both electron transport chain plus chemiosmosis. When we say electron transport chain, it is a means of transporting electron from one carrier to another. Electron can jump from one carrier to the next. Whereas chemiosmos means passing of proton through mitochondrial membrane. Here, the step of oxidative level phosphorylation totally forms these two reactions, which is takes place only in mitochondrial membrane. The production of ATP is takes place from that of ADP plus inorganic phosphate, which is a step, the process of phosphorylation, whereas there is ATP synthase enzyme involved in the process. ATP synthase to form this ATP. Only ATP synthase takes place in mitochondrial inner membrane on the surface of CRISTR. Student, do you know the advantage of CRISTR during the process? Very good. Crystal is very important in increasing the surface area of mitochondrial inner membrane to produce a great deal of ATP during this process. A great deal of ATP is produced by oxidative level phosphorylation because of the surface area of crystal, which increases surface area of mitochondrial inner membrane. The following reaction may be takes place over the surface of crystal. Here, Hydrogen atom carried by reduced NAD from Krebs cycle and again carried by reduced FAD from Krebs cycle is split into electron again where the electron can pass from one carrier to another which we call electron transport chain making the system become efficient. Additionally, when the electron passes from one carrier to the next, they lose energy. The critical advantage of lost energies making the system of electron transport chain to become more energetic, making the system of pump to become more energetic and powerful. When they are jumping from one carrier to another, from one carrier to another, there is a loss of energy. Energy loss is very important in powering the system, making them to become more energetically jumping from one step to another and highly enables the process to become accumulated the proton in mitochondrial inner membrane. Like that of the earlier reaction, there are three main electron carrier molecules that is found in mitochondrial inner membrane. One is reduced NAD dehydrogenase, which is act as a proton pump from one carrier to the next. And again, ubiquinin, which is important as a proton pump again. There is a cytochrome again, which is a proton that contain iron. These three are the three most important carrier, electron carrier that is found in electron transport chain. Well, at the end of electron transport chain, electron, which is split from that of hydrogen, combined with that of proton, which is split from that of hydrogen from uh, earlier coenzyme again, binds with oxygen to form water molecule. 
So, in the process, oxygen is considered as a terminal electron acceptor of the respiration or that of the chain totally. Respiration in this way is carbon dioxide plus that of water, where water is produced in this process. It is considered as a final electron acceptor, the terminal electron acceptor of the electron transport chain system. So here, as the action of proton pump, proton going to accumulate it in where? In mitochondrial inner membrane space, where ATP synthesis is found. This is a reason for that of binding of ADP and that of sard inorganic phosphate, which is a reason for that of phosphorylation. So here, there is a proton pump from outer mitochondrial space to that of inner mitochondrial space. Proton accumulation from outer mitochondrial membrane, which is fluid matrix, to that of inner mitochondrial membrane, which we call crystal, which is very important, and there is so many network of uh, proton electron carrier found here, which is finally react with that of oxygen to form water. Finally, there is a formation of ATP here, where ATP synthesis is found here. So, ATP synthesis is the only enzyme that is found in where? Mitochondrial inner membrane, and again, chloroplast inner membrane. Here, when one NAD molecule becomes transfer proton from one carrier to another, it is a reason for that of passing of six proton from one carrier to that of the next. Additionally, when third molecule becomes passes proton from one carrier to another, it is a reason for that of passing of four proton through that of mitochondrial inner membrane, which is a reason for that of production of certain ATP. Let's see this one. An oxidation of one reduced NAD molecule results in six proton passing through that of ATP synthase, which results in production of three ATP molecule. Hint again, student. When one reduced NAD molecule become oxidized, it passes six protons through ATP synthase, which results in production of three ATP molecule. So, in oxidation of ATP molecule, which goes to that of ATP synthase, we expect from one, three ATP molecule in ATP synthase. Again, oxidation of one reduced third molecule results in four proton passing through that of ATP synthase. That results in production of two ATP molecules in the ATP synthesis again. Which you mean? One reduced third molecule, which pass four protons through that of ATP synthesis, and results two ATP molecule production. During glycolysis step, when glucose converts to that of two pyruvate molecules, there is two net gain of ATP by substrate level phosphorylation, and two reduced NAD produced here which is anaerobically takes place in cytoplasm or cytosol of the cell. Then there is a link reaction which generates acetyl-CoA. Then acetyl-CoA enters into that of a Krebs cycle, which can be a completion of all carbon in form of carbon dioxide, a completion of hydrogen in form of coenzyme takes place here. After regeneration here, there is six reduced NAD text, uh, produced here. There is two fat molecule produced here. There is two ATP molecule produced here. ATP production still here is by substrate level phosphorylation. Where two of the ATP from that of glycolysis is important in shuttling process, proton shuttling. Then finally, in electron transport chain that evolves oxidative level phosphorylation. There is about 34 ATP by oxidative level phosphorylation is generated here. Generally, from complete oxidation of glucose molecule, the net gain of ATP is about 36 ATP. Generally, student, 
In our day's lesson, we have seen some reactions that takes place in fluid matrix of mitochondria, which is Krebs cycle. During Krebs cycle, after regeneration of original oxaloacetate, we obtain six reduced NAD, we obtain again two reduced fat, two ATP by substrate level phosphorylation, and the four carbon dioxide molecule. And then again, oxidative level phosphorylation, as it includes both chemiosmosis, a passing of protons through that of ATP synthase, and the electron transport chain, a jumping or, or transfer of electron from one carrier to another, which is very reason, a great reason for production of enormous ATP, enormous ATP, which is takes place in mitochondrial inner membrane. And then again, we have seen when proton jumps from one carrier to another, they lose energy. The energy loss is very important, empowering, making the system of electron in the proton pump to become more energetic and then making the process to become accumulate proton in mitochondrial inner membrane. This is all about the today's lesson. In our coming lesson, we will see what happened to the respiration if there is no oxygen. Until that, goodbye student.